if we talk in terms of uh, water we would want to be water positive how can we be how can clothing manufacturing be actually not causing a footprint but causing a handprint on the other hand how can our industry be beneficial in all the good ways you you may know that pratibha is working with uh, 30000 farmers for producing organic fair trade and better cotton the the basic key to our uh, management with the the work that we do with our farmers is how can we find local solutions to each of those farmer communities within their communities so finding solutions locally as well as connecting them with the network which pratibha has through the knowledge base that it has been creating the knowledge of water management practices for example we we conduct one on one one on one training sessions with these clusters of farmers one farmer cluster at a time we train them on what are the requirements of uh, being uh, being able to save water in their farms how to do that pra practical tips to do those uh, water saving techniques for us the next thing in line is being able to uh, reduce our water consumption per kg of fabric by another 50% to be able to do that we have invested in uh, new machinery we have been working with our uh, chemical suppliers as well to be able to uh, work with new dye stuff which is able to reduce the amount of energy and water consumption while a fabric is being dyed we are also now working with the cold pad batch dyeing uh, dyeing technique wherein compared to a conventional dyeing technique it already uses 50% less water which we feel is the key to be able to do farming to to be able to work with farmer communities for a long time we cannot look at just a commodity cotton while we are interacting with these farmers it has to be more than that and it has to be percolating down in their lives so for example uh, we have uh, been we have uh, set up a school called vasudha vidya vihar in this uh, village community and we are very proud that now uh, this school has been become self sufficient so the the community in that village is able to run that school they are employed they their children get educated they are not having their children working in farms which could otherwise be the case but their children are actually getting educated we also have vocational classes in the evening so the uh, adults can go there learn a few skills which they need in their lives and we we have a few entrepreneurship women entrepreneurship encouragement centers where they they have now begun going to a uh, stitching center in their village communities where they can where, where women also have and are able to get an equal say in the family matters mm -hmm. so uh, that that is one on the education and entrepreneurship portion we continuously also offer them support in terms of training materials providing them organic seeds access to organic inputs and knowledge base because not all farmers have the same amount of knowledge which a few very knowledgeable farmers would have so we are also trying to distribute this knowledge through our uh, training centers we have uh, four training centers in different locations in madhya pradesh and our plan is to expand such training centers to up to 100 a lot of focus is now also shifting on chemistry so uh, they want to know what kind of chemicals are going in while manufacturing what kind of chemicals are coming out while after the chem uh, after a fabric is dyed from the dye house and what is happening afterwards so these are some of the uh, new questions if i may say which are going to be uh, percolating down the entire supply chain as a company we have been uh, we, we have been working with a zero discharge facility since the beginning and recently we also got blue sign certified it's a prestigious certification which we are the first indian company to get and it basically uh, makes sure that the stringent str the most stringent chemical management standard is applied in the factory 
apart from that we are also working with our customers towards zero discharge of hazardous chemicals i feel that consumers should be able to choose products based on their sustainability characteristics on how good or bad that particular product has been through simple information that can be pro as simple information as can be provided for example we have nutrition labels on all our food items so we know what kind of food do we want to choose based on this particular small label which is found on every food item so empowering consumers with information about their product in its entirety and not just one particular phase or so on uh what drives us that's a good question it is the commitment uh, a top driven commitment which has been driving the company so far so uh, sustainability is not something which is uh, is a one time topic that appears in our company conversations every conversation in the company is centered ar around sustainability for us which is uh, a a triple bottom line concept benefits to people planet and profit and uh, that i feel is what is the driving force i think the leadership has to be uh, aligned and has to believe in the concept of sustainability and thankfully at pratibha under the helm of shreskar choudhary the entire company is aligned totally towards the concepts of sustainability and is also working on them if we talk in terms of uh, water we would want to be water positive how can we be how can clothing manufacturing be actually not causing a footprint but causing a handprint on the other hand how can our industry be beneficial in all the good ways collaboration with all the supply chain partners that is one important key to be able to achieve that La collaboration between like minded individuals and like minded entities can make it possible